If you're a mess like me, then cheers. Let's drink to that, I guess. It's cold, okay. I kind of feel like I'm looking twice as big as I actually am in this sweater but I've only noticed it now so we're not gonna do anything about it I've set a timer for myself and I want to be finished talking by then that's like the only motivation for me to start this topic I don't want to be emo bitching but <laughs> I've saw Kaylin Nicholson do this on her channel being the psycho fan that I secretly am I decided to do the same so grab a coffee and let's talk about my misery together shall we? Basically kind of feel like nobody cares but i decided to do it anyways just for my own mental health sake i'm not even sure if i'm gonna post it so that's yeah that's also like definitely a thing but anyways i am not okay recently i'm very freaking overwhelmed i thought i got over it last week but here's you know another week another wednesday actually i don't even know what i've been doing on monday and tuesday now that i recall it was probably lying in my bed and binge watching how to get away with murder so that's a new theme in my life i don't really know how we got to this point also my battery is dying so that's yeah that's also cool oh my god my life's a mess i probably seem very busy to a lot of people i juggle school sports on and off relationship with youtube and my own business that I'm only now starting. I constantly feel disappointed of myself because I spent days staring at my to-do lists, not doing anything about them. There's already money involved, there are people waiting for me, memberships that I paid for. So yeah, again, money. Can't find the motivation nor the inspiration nor like any means to do anything. Yeah, so that's my life currently and um why I'm talking about it online? I said that I didn't want to be emo bitching about life and here I am doing just that. The reason I'm talking about it and opening up about my mess and, and being so vulnerable here is that I'm trying to learn a new skill and that is being compassionate to myself. It really isn't that easy. I believe that there are many people out there who also struggle with being compassionate. We live in this world full of expectations that very often only exist in our own head. I read this book, I haven't yet finished it, but I read the parts that are about me to help myself, you know, kinda do the shit I have to do, but it worked for a while and now I just kinda feel lost again, but it's not the book's fault, it's, it's, it's just it's mine. This book is called The Four Tendencies and it basically talks about how different people motivate themselves and how different people react to expectations, both inner expectations, things like resolutions and plans and outside expectations like deadlines, homework and people waiting for you on the gym and also counselors and coaches that we hire to help us with things it basically divides people in four groups as the title states and there are four tendencies there are upholders, obligers, questioners and rebels every one of these tendencies reacts differently to the expectations as i already said and now uh, being the last one that i mentioned so the rebel who resists both inner and outer expectations it is very freaking hard <laughs> to actually motivate myself and this book helped me in a way because it actually shows ways in how you can motivate yourself depending on the tendency you yourself are but it also kind of made me realize that it's nothing wrong with me that it's just that i have been doing it all wrong i'm a person who always like 10 planners tries every single productivity app when i see it of scheduling journals all of that shit and uh it seems like it wasn't really good for me so now my system looks kind of differently i mean i'm kind of trying to move to the system where there is no system at all but i'm really resisting that as well being the rebel that i am it's getting cringer and cringer there's also a quiz on her website i'm gonna link it down below you can check which one tendency you are you can read the book as well and i mean it's it's kind of cool. Here's the first thing I wanted to share with you. This little book club that I'm starting. Not for real. Oh, my time's over. Let's just rebel a little bit against it, shall we? Um, You're probably gonna hear me say that I'm a rebel like many more times if you subscribe to the channel. <sighs> I'm sorry. Lastly, I just want to say that the only reason I'm making this video is to show myself and other people who may maybe need that that it's okay if you're a mess sometimes i mean i'm literally sitting here with no makeup my hair is still wet filming while i should be at school not having done a single thing of my to-do list but 
already watched like five episodes of how to get away with murder seriously guys i love that show i don't know where it was my entire life but we finally have met and it's a toxic relationship just know it's okay to be a mess sometimes i also try to remind myself that yeah like it happens and it has happened in my life before like it's not the first time that i'm sitting in my pjs all day doing nothing at all but there usually comes a time where i actually you know spiral upwards and i'm in all these good vibes again so if you have any tips on how to stop being a mess when you are one then just please let me know down in the comment i seriously could use every recommendation right now also an update i love yellow now used to hate it now i love it life's complicated so um yeah that is today's short video called the catch up something let's be vulnerable together open about our feelings and also open about a bottle of wine or something actually we could switch from coffee to wine that wouldn't be that bad of an idea after all thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video and this misery i'm in right now i mean it's not that entertaining or maybe it is i don't know i love you more than i love coffee and i see you in the next one and life is a story so make it a good one bye guys